Second Jeffrey Epstein victim claims she had sex with Prince Andrew. Duke of York faces shock new allegations as lawyers for women trafficked by the U.S. pedophile launch rigorous investigation apostrophe. A second woman who was allegedly abused by billionaire pedophile Jeffrey Epstein has claimed she had sex with Prince Andrew. This comes after the Duke of York denied having slept with 17 year old Virginia Roberts at the Belgravia home of Ghislaine Maxwell, who is accused of trafficking in young women for Epstein. The second woman, who has not been named, has communicated with lawyers who are representing Epstein's other alleged victims, the Mirror reports. It is being decided whether these allegations will form part of a lawsuit against Epstein's estate and a rigorous investigation is underway, sources say. There is nothing to suggest that the woman claims to have been coerced into sleeping with the Duke of York. A palace spokeswoman said the latest allegations are not something we would comment on. Joanna Schalberg has claimed that Prince Andrew groped her breasts with a spitting image puppet of himself and said she is willing to testify under oath against the Duke of York. It was today revealed that Prince Andrew was particularly fond of having two women massaging him at once according to former friends, who revealed how models would sit on his lap at high society dinner parties. An anonymous friend of Andrew's who went to parties with him after his divorce from Sarah Ferguson in 1996, revealed how sexy young models would fling their arms around him and call him Andy, darling. The associate said the prince's sexual appetite was on full display at one party held in the late 90s, hosted by a British art dealer and his exotic foreign wife, where he would reportedly lie back and allow the models to sit on his lap. When one stood up another would quickly take her place. The friends told journalist Vassy Chamberlain, for online magazine Airmail. A stylist named Lucy revealed how the Duke particularly enjoyed receiving forehanded massages, where two women rubbed their hands over him at once. Describing her relationship with the prince, the woman said Andrew was, respectful. Sexually, a little keen, but perfectly straightforward. There was a bit of chasing around the sofa, but not in an aggressive way, she said. Appearing on the BBC's Panorama program Virginia Roberts, now Virginia Jufri, said that after coming to London with Epstein and his alleged Madame Ghislaine Maxwell in 2001, she went dancing with the prince at a nightclub where he was raining sweat on her. The 35-year-old told said that after leaving Tramp nightclub, in the car Ghislaine tells me that I have to do for Andrew what I do for Jeffrey. And that made me sick. I didn't expect it from royalty. I didn't expect it from someone that people look up to and admire, the royal family. Describing the alleged events of the evening she said, there was a bath and it started there and it led into the bedroom. It didn't last very long, the whole entire procedure. It was disgusting. He wasn't mean nor anything. But he got up and said thanks and walked out. And I sat there in bed just felt horrified and ashamed and felt dirty. She went on. I had just been abused by a member of the royal family. Earlier this week, it was reported that Prince Philip has ordered the Duke of York to step down for the sake of the monarchy following the backlash over the Duke's friendship with Epstein. An insider at the royal estate told the Daily Telegraph, it was a tense meeting and Philip told his son that he had to take his punishment. Prince Charles also read the riot act to his under-fire brother, a source claimed. The Prince of Wales is said to have dragged his younger sibling to the royal estate for a crunch summit where he effectively retired the Duke from his public duties. Charles told his embattled brother there was no way back into the family in the near future after the public outcry that followed his disastrous Newsnight interview. Prince Philip also joined his sons for the light lunch, which took place shortly before the BBC interview with Andrew's accuser Virginia Roberts aired on Monday. Andrew has repeatedly claimed that he did not have sex with Virginia Roberts and says that he couldn't remember meeting her.